Goddess Kring Radio. Shannon Kringen. Goddess Kring. Shannon Kringen. Goddess Kring. This is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring, Hollow Earth Radio, Seattle. It's June 1st, 2017, and this is podcast number 33. That's my attempt at playing the harmonica. Wow. Oh my God, I let my station get empty again. Uh Uh-oh. This is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring in Seattle, and today I had a marathon day. I modeled uh, 8.30 in the morning for an art figure painting class for three hours and then at 12:15, i modeled for another about three hour class for figure drawing at a different college and then tonight from about five to nine i modeled for medical students which means i acted out symptoms i had a script and I had to pretend like I was a certain person with a certain history and a certain kind of pain in my body. And then the students have to practice guessing what's wrong with us and treat us, come up with a, a diagnosis and then a treatment plan and order labs. And they have to practice their language with the patients and the eye contact and the rapport and the personal stuff and then they also have to practice the palpitations on how they or palpations not palpitations palpations on how they touch us and like check our heart you know kidney liver lungs um do all this like check our reflexes and do all these different things and so it was really interesting to work with medical students I really like doing that work it's based on a real case and so they know what the real answer is so they can test the students to see how accurately they figure out what's wrong with somebody and what the best kind of treatment is so I find it fascinating because everyone's personality is a little different Um, when they paint me and draw me everyone's painting and drawings are different and then when I work with medical students so that's with art students you know everyone has a unique way of painting painting and drawing and you know different colors and textures and styles and how they make marks on the page and then and compositions and color because I'm kind of trained in art and design so I understand these different design concepts and then I'm fascinated by medical students and how they talk to me in a different way you know each student tonight had a slightly different way of doing things and They have different strengths and weaknesses in terms of eye contact, verbal rapport, physical technique, diagnosing, etc. So that's interesting, but I am about to record podcast number 33. Got a screen. Podcast number 33, actually, to podcast number 33. This is Shannon Kringen, Got a Screen in Seattle. And can I just say that I wish we could get beyond the duality as human beings? You know, like, I wish it wasn't the us versus them, the them versus us, that I am female and you are male, I am black and you are white, I am left handed and you are right handed. You know, I am from this country and you are from that country. I am a Republican, you are a Democratic, you know, etc. Things like that, like labels. Like, it's true, even me, I label myself. I might be a little bit autistic. I might be a little bit borderline. I might be a little bit dyslexic. I'm artistic. I'm an artist and you're not. Or I am a visual artist and you are a musician artist or a performing artist. Or you are this and I am that. You are good at math and I'm good at science, you know, etc. It's like I really realize that human beings need to differentiate between their traits versus another person's traits. But I sometimes feel like particularly with prejudice against somebody's ethnicity or skin color or um, uh, heritage or background, um, emphasizing people who are trying to maybe get prejudice to stop 
or at least get it validated that prejudice really does exist. And I do agree, prejudice exists. Racism, sexism, classism, all the different prejudices in the world do exist, and it's a very serious problem that humans have. What I disagree with is how to solve it. I feel like if people go around constantly pointing out us versus them, and then not having empathy for somebody who is seen as having privilege and not and, and accusing them of not being able to acknowledge what they go through and saying ah shut up this isn't about you i don't think that's very helpful to say shut up this isn't about you although i understand the feeling and the urge when when you're tired of being dominated by a certain kind of person it's natural to want to say hey shut up and let us talk now i un totally understand that but i almost feel like it perpetuates the us versus them when people do that it just perpetuates the other side like that's how wars are started one person blames the other and then they go back and forth and back and forth and they keep perpetuating a war between us versus them and so I feel like the solution is to go beyond the duality of that and to actually treat each other with kindness and respect and decency. And I know that also means we have to change the laws. And if people are prejudiced that make the laws, then that's how are we going to do that. So how are people going to evolve past this us versus them duality, you know, thinking? So I realize what I'm saying might upset some people, so I'm sorry if you don't agree with me and you think I'm wrong and etc. I understand we all have valid points of view. I'm just saying that I see a pattern in the duality of how people think it's us versus them. And again, that could be that could be racism, classism, sexism, a political party, what language you speak. If somebody thinks that their language is superior to somebody else's language, you know, it's sad that we, we think that we need to have a winners and losers. It's too bad that we can't accept that we're all different. We're all in this together. I mean, there's diversity. There's unity in diversity, as they say. So it, it, it upsets me, the duality that I see in the way people treat each other. And I'm not saying that I'm perfect, and I'm not saying that I don't do this us versus them kind of um, thing. I'm sure that I probably do. And I might be a hypocrite sometimes, but I try, like my philosophy is to try to see the unity and the connection that I have with other people, whether they're different than me or similar to me. Uh, but it's kind of hard to do sometimes. And I love to spend a lot of time to myself because of that and hang out with my cat. So beyond duality would be a nice thing for humans to evolve into. And also speciesism, when humans think they're superior to all the other species on the planet, I find that sad because look at the way humans dominate, you know, humans dominate this planet. I can hardly stand it. I wrote a poem, Polluted and Uprooted, and then I talk about different animals and, you know, how animals are going extinct and human beings. I also volunteer at the zoo and a lot of people have said they hate zoos and they don't like zoos. And I'm thinking, well, zoo, it's sad that we have animals in captivity, but it's equally sad that we have habitat that's being destroyed and animals being hunted and poached and... Um, the zoo, at least the animals are protected and they do have um, access to a vet and get medical treatment, etc. Their babies are protected from predators, etc. Torn and torn, human form, reborn. Dominating crocodiles, cockroach slaughter, rats poisoned, fear of bats, extinction of creatures. People dominate this planet. I can hardly stand it stranded, polluted and uprooted, wake up and smell the Hitler done to Mother Earth. Wake up and smell the Hitler done to Mother Earth. <sighs> People dominate this planet, I can hardly stand it. Earth drips blood. Elephants, gorillas, tiger, humpback whale, grizzly bear. Kind human, be honey, be kind honey, be kind honey, should be fashioned to have compassion for all living things. Who do we think we are? Humans dominate this planet. I can hardly stand it. Stand it. Stand it. Stand it. Stand it. Thanks for tuning in to Hollow Earth Radio Seattle. This is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring, podcast number 33, June 1st, 
2017. That was a poem I wrote called Wake Up and Smell the Hitler Done <clears throat> to Mother Earth. Wake Up and Smell the Hitler Done to Mother Earth. It's what I call speciesism when humans want to dominate the planet and disregard the plants and the animals. I'm excited to say that actually I'm getting a keyboard. I had a keyboard years ago and then it broke. And I recently was given the opportunity to receive another keyboard. And so I'm waiting for it to get shipped. And I play the piano. I mostly improvisationally. So I'm going to be adding more music to this show in the coming weeks. Stay tuned for that. I know that's very primitive, but I'm playing in harmonica. Somebody gave this to me years ago and I hardly ever play it. Somewhere in my apartment, I have a recorder, like a little flute thingy, Mick Jagger recorder thingy. I would like to play that. I've actually written a song on that. I can find that recording. I have a mishmash of music and poetry that I would love to share with you. Again, my name is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring. I am mostly a figure model here in Seattle. I've lived in Seattle since 1986 after high school. I was born in San Diego in 1968. And then when I was nine years old, my mom and I lived for a while at Evolution Art Institute in Petaluma, California on the way up here from San Diego. And we lived kind of communally with other artists and my mom took art classes and I learned how to do silk screening and metal smithing and worked with clay and metal and wood and various multimedia projects with other artists, ran around with a dog on the beach called Lightning Retriever of Gold. And I then moved up to Whidbey Island because that's where my mom wanted to go. And then I went to high school in Whidbey Island after going to the alternative hippie school named Abraxas in San Diego. And then Tom and House on Whidbey Island, another alternative school where they taught us the truth about Native American Indians. And they let us write our own plays. I remember being in second grade and really loving to write. And I remember I wrote a story that was like five pages long and most of the other little kids wrote stories that were just really short, like one page. And I remember I got really carried away and I just wrote and wrote and wrote this huge five page story and read it in front of the class, I think. And I just remember feeling from a young age like I really loved to write. And that was when I was too shy to really speak in front of people very much at all. And I'm excited that my dad and I are going to go see Temple Grandin speak on Vashon Island about animal science behavior on June 10th. And I'm also going to be in a play in Fremont in July based on Twin Peaks. I'll share more about that when I know more about that. I think we're going to have five performances at the Left of Lenin Theater in Fremont in July of 2017. My dad and I are also going to go see Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers in uh, August of 2017. I'm excited. I haven't seen him live since 1999, which was a long time ago. I recently modeled at Highline College, and I was happy to see that there's this really cool chrome sculpture. I did a selfie in in 1999, and the chrome sculpture is still there. 
1999 was when I got my first digital camera. And even back then, I was doing a lot of selfies, you know, before selfies were kind of like a normal thing that most people do ever since they got smartphones. I just have always been into the idea of amplifying, amplified chameleon, amplified chameleon, authentic ejaculation of my soul, molten orange liquid glow, anger takes its toll, blowing status quo, etc. Moonlight on the snow, Dylan-esque romantic glow, crush the berries in the snow. Bada boo, bada bing, stinging rings the cring. Catch the wind song, spiral drive, crack the code, left and right node. I wander and I wander, tripping over sand dollars, moon haulers, key robbers. Enchanted land, smoky hands, rough and cracked. Take this sand and stand alone, all one. I present the present, desert the desert. Exercise, bring exorcism, cleanse. Shuka shuka, shuka shuka, shuka shuka. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. So there's going to be a keyboard soon in my life, and I'm going to learn how to play it. I guess it has a six-track machine built into it, so I might play around with different multi-layered tracks. The other thing I was going to say is that I modeled recently at Folk Life in the hot blazing sun. Uh, I take photographs of a lot of the paintings and drawings that people do of me over the years. I've been modeling for a living for 25 years in Seattle since about 1992. I went to high school in Woodby Island, graduated in 86. Then I went to the graphic design program at Seattle Central College. And then I got into modeling, even danced for a while at the Lusty Lady in Seattle, but mostly have been modeling for art classes and medical students as well that practice, practice doing exams. And then what else? I don't know. One thing led to another. I started... Um, body painting myself, did my Goddess Kring television show from 1996 to 2011 every week on the television screen. And from a young age, I actually, I've liked to write and I do creative writing from time to time. It's funny in some ways I'm socially shy and yet I'm the nude model in front of people. And here I am doing this podcast thingy Mick Jagger. I recently saw Marty Stewart and his fabulous superlatives. And I recently discovered that they actually cover a Tom Petty song. You know, Tom Petty widens my jetty. Ever since I was 11, I've loved the music of Tom Petty when I heard Refugee on a jukebox at Gay 90s Pizza on Whidbey Island in Green Bank. I ran over to the jukebox and I went, what is this? Oh my God. This is Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, my friend Stephanie told me. My brother has this record, and so I borrowed the record and played it 20 million times. Drove my mother crazy listening. She's like, not that song again. No, Refugee. Ah, She couldn't stand that song over and over and over and over. Well, Marty Stewart and the fabulous superlatives, they played at the Triple Door. My boyfriend and I went. Amazingly great show. And they cover Tom Petty's song running down a dream running down a dream never would it come to me working on a mystery going wherever it leads running down a dream da, 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 da. you know and he plays it on the mandolin marty stewart it's a really cool song google that if you're interested marty stewart playing tom petty running down a dream check it out it's pretty interesting now here's some music for you this is hollow earth radio seattle goddess kring podcast number 33 i'm shannon kring and your host here's some music i created
That was me playing around with my little plastic recorder thingy Mick Jagger, and now here's me playing around with a guitar, laying it flat on my lap and doing a twangy slide version of guitar. Mostly I play the piano, so I'm really excited to get my keyboard and try to make some interesting music for you to enjoy. So here's Shannon Kringen on guitar. This is Hollow Earth Radio Seattle, podcast number 33, Goddess Kring. Thanks for tuning in.
So that was my experimenting on a guitar. My friend loaned me his guitar. I laid it flat on my lap, and I think I took a butter knife, and I made it all twangy and slide guitarishy. And I'm inspired by twangy slide guitar people. And the music I love the most, actually, is Tom Petty, Tori Amos, Neil Young. I love Jimmy... Um, I was going to say Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> Jimmy Stewart. No, I love uh, Jimi Hendrix and I love Miles Davis and I like Paul Simon and bits and pieces of Sting and Heather Nova, Lucinda Williams, Edie Brickell, Jesse Sykes, Jason Webley, um, different kinds of music. So thanks for tuning in to Goddess Kring Podcast 33, Hollow Earth Radio, Seattle. And now here is a surprise. Hey, this is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring in Seattle. And I just got back from an amazing concert at the Triple Door here in Seattle. Uh, Marty Stewart is a musician who I didn't know that much about. He looked familiar when I saw a photo of him. My boyfriend is a rock and roll and blues musician and has a rock and roll cover band that he has um, created. And he asked if I wanted to go see Marty Stewart. Uh, Marty Stewart is a mostly country musician, but really, really good, high-quality uh, amazing person that's been playing music since he was 12 years old. He went on the road with a band of adult musicians. His parents let him because all he wanted to do is music. He didn't care about anything else. And thankfully, his parents let him just go for it. And uh, the rest is history. But he is an amazing performer. His band, uh, Marty Stewart and the Something Superfluous, superlatives they're amazing uh, i forgot the names of the other band members but the drummer the guitarist the bass player amazing like really technically amazing good musicians but also very charismatic and very good performers so they had confidence they had technical skill they had performance uh, stage energy they also had tremendous amount of love for what they were doing it was just amazing and so many interesting like rock and roll mixed with twangy guitars mixed with folk music mixed with storytelling mixed with interesting lyrics and stories mixed with humor mixed with seriousness heart and soul it was just great it was so fun and they were just such good performers and i i they played some cool surf music solo you know um without vocals not solo but without vocals just instrumental and i forgot the name of those kind of songs you know that's kind of cool surf music and mixed with you know because to me music i like all kinds of music but i especially love rock folk and blues and it reminded me of why tom petty why i love the music of tom petty so much because that is a rock and roll band but they are very influenced by country and folk and blues and even a little bit of jazz mixed in with the rock and roll and marty stewart you can hear that and in fact mike campbell produced the latest marty stewart album which is called way out west or go west or something and marty stewart so mike campbell tom petty and the heartbreakers are one of my favorite bands of all time because they mix folk rock blues country a little bit of jazz they mix all so many different things together and it's beautiful and just interesting music ever since i was 11 i've loved tom petty and the heartbreakers is music a uh, long story but this marty stewart was amazing and it was so cool to find out that mike campbell tom petty's guitarist produced the album of the latest marty stewart album so i just really had a good time at that concert it was amazing it was beautiful and i'm so happy i went it's one of the best musical concerts i've ever been to in my life i also saw jeff beck at the woodland park zoo i volunteer so i got to see that one for free after i worked uh, at the concert helping out so i'm so grateful that i got to see this marty stewart concert and all the other concerts i've been to we're going to go see tom petty and the heartbreakers in august and i'm going <clears> to <throat> listen to temple grandin speak live in person in june and i'm going to do a bunch of zoo tunes concerts this year here in seattle uh amy mann and garrison keeler from <laughs> from npr radio 
and a bunch of different other musicians. I forgot all the names, but uh, I wish Edie Brickell would come to Woodland Park Zoo. That would be awesome. I love Edie Brickell. I love Bob Dylan, Neil Young, Tom Petty. Um, so Marty Stewart was an amazing concert. I just wanted to share that. This is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kringen, Seattle. Fear of scarcity, scare of fiercity in our fair city or in our unfair city. So I, I will say that's a part of a line of a poem that I wrote about fear of scarcity and scare of fiercity, which means the whole rich and poor thing in the United States is growing more. The gap between the wealthy and the poor and the low income in this country is growing bigger and bigger. And I will say there's like a fear of scarcity. I think wealthy people, they don't want to pay taxes. They don't want to pay very many taxes because they're afraid of losing their money. That's what I think. And rich and poor people are both afraid of each other, you know. So if we had more of a balance of social services, and I know that the current administration doesn't really care about that and the capitalism doesn't really care about that but i do think that fear of scarcity is at the root of greed um in this capitalist society that we live in like for instance the the new trump budget idea is to cut uh, billions of dollars from uh social programs that help people and from education and then they want to give tax cuts to millionaires and billionaires and wealthy corporations and private individuals that are extremely wealthy and then they want to deprive some people of health insurance or make it way 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 expensive and then they conversely separately the opposite of that is that they want to pour tons of money into the military and of course they're not going to help the veterans the money goes to the war and the defense and the weapons and all of the war uh, business you know money making profit prison and war military industrial complex and then they take money away from all the social programs so it's completely backwards and it has no heart and no soul and it's really creepy 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 so you know i'm not against capitalism but i want our democracy to be an actual democracy and to be more income equality is a real problem in the United States of America. We're not really the United States. We're more like 50 separate states. And I don't think we're very united in some ways. So I think the wages should be raised for the low income and lowered for the extremely wealthy that make too much money. And wealthy people should have to pay their fair share of taxes. And uh, they should make single-payer health care would cost less than what we have because our health care system is based on profit and capitalism and competition which is really corrupt and ridiculous and complicated and absurd and there's way too much paperwork involved our health care system should be completely turned into a non-profit public service like the public library health care type system for all citizens rich poor young old what you know healthy sick everyone so there it is so thanks for listening and fear of scarcity scare of fiercity in our fair city in our unfair city in cast the outcast outcast the in cast decrease the corporation increase cooperation so that's some of my poetry tame the shame suck the sugar cane Tame the shame, suck the sugar cane. Suicide divides lines of time, cutting ties to lighted divine. Erased spaces simply reappear. Disappearance a big illusion in this hour. Empowered by a tower, suiting up your relatives with armor, amor, armor, amor. Tapping that inner child on the shoulder. Maybe she just wants you to hold her. What's in your scream box? Unlock that box. Take the risk. Tame the shame. Suck the sugar cane. Tame the shame. Suck the sugar cane. You fear facer. Graced by an embrace. Jump the mobile unlimited. Invoke the friendly spinning spoke, unspoken aloud to be seen, jetting international. No need to be rational, 
Flexible is the new stable, labels outdated. It's prorated. Be elated. Okay, I'll do it again. <clears throat> Tame the shame, suck the sugar cane. Tame the shame, suck the sugar cane. Suicide divides lines of time, cutting ties to light it divine. Erased spaces simply reappear. Disappearance, a big illusion, in this hour, empowered by a tower. Tame the shame, suck the sugar cane. Suiting up your relatives with armor, amour, armor, amour. Having tea with a goat farmer, tame the shame, suck the sugar cane. Tapping that inner child on the shoulder, maybe she just wants you to hold her. What's in your scream box? Unlock that box. Tame the shame, suck the sugar cane. Tame the shame, suck the sugar cane. Take the risk, you fear facer. Graced by an embrace. Tame the shame, suck the sugar cane. Tame the shame, suck the sugar cane. Jump the mobile unlimited. Invoke the friendly spinning spoke. Unspoken allowed to be seen. Jetting international. No need to be rational. Flexible is the new stable. Labels outdated. It's prorated. Be elated. Tame the shame, suck the sugar cane. Tame the shame, suck the sugar cane. A -su -su suicide divides. Tame the shame, suck the sugar cane. Tame the shame, suck the sugar cane. Suicide divides lines of time, cutting ties to lighted divine. Erased spaces simply reappear. Disappearance, a big illusion, in this hour, empowered by a tower. Tame the shame, suck the sugar cane. Tame the shame, suck the sugar cane. Suit up your relatives with armor, amour, armor, amour. Having tea with a goat farmer. Tame the shame, suck the sugar cane. Tame the shame, suck the sugar cane. Tapping that inner child on the shoulder. Maybe she just wants you to hold her. What's in your scream box? Unlock that box. Tame the shame. Tame the shame. Tame the shame. Take the risk, you fear facer. Graced by an embrace. Intimacy chasing me. Feel like it's erasing me. No. Tame the shame, suck the sugar cane. Tame the shame, suck the sugar cane. Intimacy chasing me, feel like it's erasing me. No, no, no. Graced by an embrace, by an embrace, by an embrace. Intimacy facing me, facing me, facing me, facing me. Not erasing me. Intimacy facing me, not erasing me. Jump the mobile unlimited. Invoke the friendly spinning spoke. Unspoken allowed to be seen. Jetting international. No need to be rational. Flexible is the new stable. Labels outdated. It's prorated. Be elated. Tame the shame. Tame the shame. Tame the shame. The end. Understand, at it man, at a van, buried in sand, landing stranded, slurred speech, breach safety, checking doors, too late, extra dose, backfired counterintuitive, impurity, impunity, immunity, get a groove to me, protect us from pharma, Help us with pharma. Balance. Sometimes helps. 
sometimes harms. Treating addiction with more risk of addiction seems like a fictional way to help someone heal and find balance. Everyone is different. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it harms. Romanticizing the end, lend me a hand, spiral of denial, find truth, fragile, forgive, love, be here now. Fragile, strong, strong, fragile. Choice in voice, beyond the vice, we all roll dice. Science, chemistry, experiment. Fail to see, it's a mystery how to fix the brain chemistry. Work with nature, empathy for the predator, sympathy for the trailblazer, deviator. Stories of brain scan, physical tests. Brain scan like a heart. Scan your heart, scan your brain. The brain is a physical organ, just like the heart, the lungs, the kidneys, the liver, the spleen. Mental and physical are connected. Stigma to mental health, all connected. Beyond duality, us versus them. Medication versus being more natural. Synthetic chemicals versus natural herbal supplements and vitamins, medication versus nature, meditation versus medication, beyond the duality of us versus them. <laughs> Hey, this is Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring. You're listening to Hollow Earth Radio Seattle. Goddess Kring podcast number 33. What you just heard was my voice backwards. That actually is used to be my ringtone on my, f- my cell phone, my mobile phone. That's my voice backwards doing some of my poetry. I actually love the abstract sounds of uh, voices backwards. I went to Norway, Oslo, Norway in 2008, and I recognized that when I heard Norwegian spoken, it reminds me of what my voice sounds like played backwards. Not to be disrespectful to any language, I'm just saying that when I hear certain abstract sounding words, it reminds me of other languages besides just English. I I find it very refreshing to hear other languages spoken when I travel or when I'm around people speaking any other language besides English. It just kind of fascinates me. And when I hear music, I see shapes and textures. So I'm fascinated by sound and audio. And when I paint, I usually do pure abstraction. So I would like to play more with instruments. I'm going to do some keyboard music soon. And you've been listening to a mishmash of me playing recorder, harmonica, guitar, piano will be coming soon. Thanks for tuning in to Goddess Kring. Hollow Earth Radio Seattle. Hey, this is Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring here in Seattle. Um... Um, I'm in a volunteer park. There's a sculpture in Seattle um, called Black Sun. And um, Chris Cornell might have written the song Black Hole Sun, partly inspired by this sculpture here in Seattle Volunteer Park. And there's a beautiful shrine. Um, To be honest, I wasn't even a huge Soundgarden fan. I like the song Black Hole Sun. What I like even more is just the beautiful artistic voice of Chris Cornell and the fact that he was a musician and an artist and a sensitive uh, person and um, I'm very musical and love music so I'm touched and when anybody commits suicide I feel particularly um, sad about that because I struggle with them um, I've never acted upon it but you know I sometimes think about ending it all and um, I have depression and anxiety and you know sensitivity and I just have a lot of empathy for people um, struggling with certain issues and um, so I just wanted to record this to say that there's a beautiful I just took some photos of it and it's a beautiful sunny day here in Seattle and I'm just kind of touched somebody uh, put a white sheet on the sculpture 
and made like a shrine and there's like a photo of Chris, a very beautiful photo of Chris and um, blown up onto a poster and there's flowers and candles and rest in peace, Chris, and some, you know, sweet messages of love uh, to Chris Cornell. And it's just very sweet that people did that and that people feel so sad. And I loved the um, collaboration. They did um, Temple of the Dog with... Uh, Eddie Vedder and the members of Pearl Jam and I don't know who all the people were in Temple of the Dog there's that song called Hunger Strike which I really love there's a video on YouTube on that um, and they filmed it it's a it's kind of a neat video in the early 90s and they filmed it in um, I've lived in Seattle since 86 and so I kind of saw the whole grunge thing happen but um, I was never a huge fan I'm more of a fan of Tom Petty and Neil Young Bob Dylan Tori Amos all those people but I loved um, bits and pieces of the Seattle uh, musical band situation of Nirvana and Mud Honey and Pearl Jam, and um, but I like the the song "Hunger Strike Temple of the Dog" that Eddie Vedder sang with Chris Cornell in that video, and they played um, they did the video in Discovery Park here near Seattle, and they might have also done part of Lincoln Park, but I think it's mostly Discovery Park, and it's just a, a nice song and a beautiful video, so. I'm just here and just feeling empathy and sadness and grief and um, just crying a little bit, took some photos, and I'm just touched and moved by people caring about somebody who committed suicide. And um, so thank you for listening. Life is precious, and it's good that we have love for each other and that when we lose something, we realize, you know, Sometimes maybe you take life for granted and then you don't realize until you lose a person or a pet or, you know, somebody passes away, dies of natural causes. That's sad, too. So grief and loss is a sad thing. And I just feel some empathy right now. And oh, I just started crying. I didn't think I would cry. I wasn't even a huge Soundgarden fan once again, but I do appreciate the artistic quality of what he created and I love musicians of all kinds, even, you know, even if I'm not a huge fan of a band, I still appreciate musicians and artists and especially sensitive, emotional people who express themselves with music and art and theater and dance. And um, I'm an artist myself and I just love creative people. And um, yeah, just sending love and empathy out to everyone, anyone who's upset or sad about losing someone that you love and this does bring people together the good thing about things like this sad things that happen like this is it it does bring people together reminds us how much we can love one another and not take each other for granted and try to help each other out and just pay attention to what's going on with people that you care about and just i don't know just love love as much as you can and also let go because, you know, life is temporary and none of us are here forever, whether we die of, of natural causes when we're really old or we have a tragic ending. And, and once again, it is beautiful that when an artist passes away, their, their art stays on this planet for us to enjoy. Healing reveals the dreams. So may we all heal from our personal demons and may we all practice love and compassion and patience be here now. I've also been listening to some Eckhart Tolle videos recently because sometimes I get really, really anxious about the future or I dwell on the past and it's easy to lose sight of being in the present moment, which is always here for us in the now. And it's such a simple message, but now is all we really have. You know, the past affects us, the future we're not sure what's going to happen yet in the future. It all affects us. So staying in the present moment is actually a really good practice to include in your daily life, especially if you're worried or stressed out, if you're sad about something that's happened in the past, or anxious and worried about something that may or may not happen in the future. The best thing to do is just focus on your breathing and think about what is in the now. 
What am I doing right now? No matter what your thoughts and feelings are, what are you actually physically doing right now in the present moment? And then that will take you where you need to go if you just stay in that kind of state of mind. And then every time you fall off the horse, so to speak, and dwell on the past or worry about the future, you can just say, okay, I'm worried about the future or I'm dwelling on the past and feeling sad about something or wishing something would continue that was good that I want to come back that's maybe gone. And it's good to just have compassion for yourself in that moment and then just continue on being in the present moment. Now here's a poem I wrote called Waldorf Salad about some of my personal demons. This is Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring, Hollow Earth Radio, Seattle, Goddess Kring podcast number 33. Trying to sink with the rhythm. Lost am I, feeling like a spy. An outsider am I, never scratching my itch. At times, I'd rather die. And I sigh. It should be fashion to have compassion for the self-indulgence scares me and dares me. Neglected. Shanny panny boopy doopy freaky deaky. Projected. Past. Present. Future. Please have faith in the spark of your birth. You have worth. San Diego ocean beaches, sandy dunes, tunes of dad strumming guitar, mom spinning the potter wheel, as Shani makes mud pies in the backyard, scarred perhaps by divorce and neglect, left alone in grandma's house with television, my friend, and plenty of chocolate chips to stuff my belly and deny my emotional needs. The zoo on Tuesdays with Grandpa. Waldorf salad again. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. Love, pain, anger, fear, shame. Am I to blame? Fuck it. Give me some sugar cane. Oh, you don't really have any problems. You're hallucinating. Grow up. Feel it. Don't let anyone steal it. Transmute. Move on. Evolve. Revolve. Dissolve. And now, Crumple Still Skin. Crumple Still Skin. Crumple Still Skin. Crumple still skin. Stripe there, volt this. Volty rinsing it off. Undulate morph melded. Zoom away. Crumple still skin. Crumple still skin. Flipped. Flipped me ball. Lavender fuzz. Too foxy, too lavender, foxy buddy. lavender buddy. Lavender me. Lavender Could you, would you, sequin shoes? And the slippers. And the slippers. Wedding slippers. Wedding slippers. Wedding slippers. Wedding slippers. Wedding slippers. Slip on painted Slip spaceship on painted top. Spaceship organ top. leaf organ 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 whisker organ on whisker. the spaceship on flower the spaceship with the gray flower. on the gray. gray. Barely spaceship buzz. Passion flower in the hour of waves. And the sunshade shadow drum. Shadow is washed Shadow clean, is washed clean. Mixed, with water. mixed with water, banana slug with crumple still skin, crumple still skin, amazed at the orange mount, crumple still skin, stripe there, volt this, volty rinsing it off, undulate morph melded, zoom away, zoom away. Ride, 
as the water trickles and the droplet festival takes place for pop stars everywhere with ladybug yellow and green drops, flower paints, and warped fireworks in the silo, amazed at the space fire with digging up and eating your green greens. The melon was happy to be eaten. And the broccoli in the library glass diamond-shaped windows with the chrome of pride and the pride of chrome. Kitty and flower. And the light moss painted with chickens. And the fish were jealous and they wanted to be painted as well, even though they had silky, silvery, sparkly scales. The fish were jealous and they wanted to be painted in the cream style. The hot tar lady painted rider and the tar man was the painted tower and the hot tar man near painted cement for solstice was under a lovely tree with the stripes across the torso black shiny friends sparked up puff puff crumple still skin crumple still skin amazed at the orange mount crumple still skin stripe there volt this volty rinsing it off undulate morph melded zoom away crumple still Thanks for tuning in to Goddess Kring, podcast number 33. I'm Shannon Kringen. You're listening to Hollow Earth Radio, Seattle. I wanted to say that I offer my audio, music, and poetry under the Creative Commons license. So if you want to use any of my musical or poetry or word clips, you have my permission. My photography is also Creative Commons, free to publish. I have a Flickr website with, I think, over 5,000 photos that I've been updating it for over 10 years. And shannonkringa.com is my website with a bunch of multimedia, different uh, words and visual art. And also, if you're curious about me as a art model, you can see all of the really amazing, diverse collection of paintings and drawings that other talented artists have done of me when I model for them. I'm so honored and grateful and happy that I get to model for other artists and just be around the creative energy of drawing and painting and sculpture and photography. And I also work with medical students and I really enjoy being around uh, people that are stimulating in terms of medicine, the art of medicine and the actual art of visual art. I also love to be around musicians and I'm getting a keyboard very soon and so I'm excited. Maybe I'll do open mics, I don't know, but I want to at least create some music at home and share it with you. So thanks for tuning in and enjoy the rest of your day or night. I uh, archive these. This airs live on Hollow Earth Radio in Seattle. And then I archive them on my YouTube channel and Mixcloud and Bandcamp and various websites. And thank you so much for tuning in. Follow your heart, follow your dreams, follow your bliss, and I'll seal it with a kiss. Hollow Earth Radio, Seattle. Thanks for tuning in. This is Goddess Kring, Shannon Kringen. Thank you so much. Forgive me while I kiss the sky. Forgive me while I kiss the sky. Forgive me while I kiss the sky. Yummy honey dripping. Yummy honey dripping. Yummy honey dripping. Yummy honey dripping. Motion Farmer Market in the Metallic Green Ball Green Door Motion Play Weld It Now Alice Cup Birded Quad Paint That Truck Goddess Kring Radio Goddess Kring Goddess Kring Goddess Kring Goddess Kring Goddess Kring
Goddess Kring Radio. Goddess Kring. Goddess Kring. Goddess Kring. Goddess Kring. Goddess Kring.